Hey, welcome back to Everyday Dishes. I'm Cheryl Najafi, and today I am super excited to share with you my crunchy pork cutlets. So for under $10, we're gonna take the best part of the pork chop, the pork tenderloin, and we're gonna stretch it to feed over six people. But there's a couple of tricks to getting this to happen so that they're luscious and juicy and perfectly crunchy. So let's get started. Okay, so you're gonna take the pork tenderloin. Now, the pork chop is made up with two pieces of meat. It's the loin and the tenderloin. So we've got the tenderloin, the best part of the pork chop. What we're gonna do is slice it into our pork cutlets. Now, if I sliced it on the vertical, I would get a big, almost like a filet piece. But what I'm going to do is I'm gonna save us a little bit of time and I am going to cut it on the diagonal so that I have a flatter piece of meat. Okay, so here's one piece. So look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces out of a pound and a half of the most precious meat for under $10. And then we're gonna put our cutlets on the parchment. And now we're going to pound them into about a quarter of an inch thickness. So as you can see, this piece of meat is much thicker than this piece and they'll cook at different temperatures. And this is where we fail when we cook pork chops, is they're not always the same thickness. And some come out really chewy and others are perfect. So this is how we get perfect chops every time. So you wanna take your rolling pin and pound them out. The second tip is to make sure they're super, super dry. You need to have a dry hand and a wet hand. And I'm actually gonna use a, a um, glove on my wet hand so that I can actually clean up really fast and do this on camera really easily. You don't have to do this at home. Now I've got my two cast iron skillets warming up because you wanna start with really hot oil. Now, when you use cornstarch, it's different from flour. If you dredged in flour, then the moisture and then the, and then the breadcrumbs, you would put them in the refrigerator and let them sit for 15 minutes. With cornstarch, you wanna fry them immediately because as the cornstarch gets wet, it'll slide off the meat. So you wanna do it immediately. I'm gonna pour my olive oil into my pans. I'm gonna turn up the fire here. And I'm gonna start with my dry hand and I'm gonna put my cutlets into the cornstarch. And now I'm gonna transfer this to my wet hand. This has paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper, so it's all nice and seasoned. And then I'm gonna mix up the cornstarch into my breadcrumbs, because this is going to allow for that crunchy coating. And then you lay it on top and then press it down. And that'll make it stick to the meat. Shake it off. Let's test and see if the oil is hot enough. Not quite yet, so I'm just gonna lay this right here and do another one. By the time the breading is brown, your cutlets are cooked through. Now always lay the cutlets away from you because if it splashes, it'll go that way. Now I'm doing this in two pans because you don't want to overcrowd your skillet because then they won't brown. If you do it in batches, just make sure that that oil comes back up to temperature before you put your cutlets in or they'll get greasy. Can you see that browning that's happening on the edges there? And I'm gonna pick it up. And do you see how it's nice and golden brown? Now I know that it's ready to turn over. Now you don't wanna play with these too much because while they're hot, they might break. The coating is so crunchy that it can literally just break off in one piece. So, you know, be a little bit more gingerly when it's hot in the pan. This is beautiful on both sides. So I'm gonna take it off and let it drain on a paper towel. Am I not kidding you when I tell you it's super crunchy? Just listen. All right, yummy. Can you hear me crunch? <laughs> For more ideas, tips, tricks, and recipes. I'll see you back on Everyday Dishes. Make sure you like this if you loved it. Subscribe to my channel and comment below. Just get in the kitchen.